What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we got the fifth big 2023 Chicago Bears free agency film room episode and newest running back of the Chicago Bears, Deontay Foreman. <laughs> The Chicago Bears signed running back Deontay Foreman, formerly known for the Texans, also a short time with the Titans, and then last year with the Carolina Panthers. And I think this is a huge addition to the Chicago Bears roster, obviously after losing David Montgomery to the division rivals, uh, the Detroit Lions. For the contract details real quick, Deontay Foreman got a one-year, $3 million deal with the Chicago Bears after having a breakout season in 2022 with the Carolina Panthers, and a first and foremost want to say this is an absolute steal once again for the Chicago Bears in this free agency because he's a very productive back that does a lot of things really well we will see that in today's film room episode and I think for that price three million for only one year right it's a very low risk deal nonetheless as well that's a perfect compliment for the Chicago Bears running back room you maybe still want to add a rookie that you can develop right a later round rookie that you can slide in there at times but I think Deontay Foreman and Khalil Herbert plus the addition obviously of Travis Homer as well who will be probably the pass blocking back with some receiving skills as well but Deontay Foreman and Khalil Herbert as that perfect one-two punch that you want on the Bears roster for a very cheap deal for the moment which is absolutely perfect and in today's film room episode I want to categorize him into the running game obviously how he rushes the football but then also want to look at his abilities in the passing game as a receiver and shortly as a blocker as well but before we want to start off with the film room quickly for his stats and measurables he's a six foot one 236 pound running back who's still 26 years old will turn 27 in april though but still pretty young was drafted in the third round of the 2017 nfl draft by the texans and had a really promising start to his career and then had a pretty long injury stretch where he couldn't just stay healthy and had some issues and then finally found his footing in the league after being patient for many many years in 2021 with the tennessee titans after derrick henry went down played in nine games for them started three of those and had 566 yards for three touchdowns as well 4.3 yards on average plus his best receiving season with nine receptions and 123 yards as well was absolutely phenomenal stepping in for them and then in 2022 similar scenario but different outcome right it was not the star running back uh getting injured in that case Derrick Henry no it was Christian McCaffrey getting traded out of Carolina and then he got the starting job and played in all 17 games last year for the Panthers started nine of those had 203 rushing attempts 914 yards five touchdowns plus 4.5 yards on average was is amazing and also had five receptions for 26 yards and really just found his footing finally in the NFL after this long stretch without uh, having any production or any playing time due to injuries so I'm so glad that the guy now got a contract with the Chicago Bears I think he totally deserves it as a person and as a player how he treated himself throughout those years and I think he's like I said a perfect fit for the Chicago Bears offense but with that being said I don't want to waste any more time and let's start it off with today's film room episode with the first category which is his running game And overall, I was very impressed with Deontay Foreman's tape overall. What definitely popped off and his number one thing is probably his vision. He just reacted to cutback lanes or closing gaps so fast and always had the eyes for it. Was very patient to the line, not through the line. It was very beautiful. Also, his footwork in combination with that was phenomenal. And his elusiveness too, which was a very underrated part of his game, I think, that I did not expect coming off of his tape to a list as a pro, but he looked phenomenal and had had some really nice cutbacks also his strength is phenomenal as well he will definitely be a goal line back in those situations for the Bears because he's a guy that will lower the shoulder and fight for some extra yards and then also in combination had some really good balance as soon as a tackler was trying to engage or flying in there he popped just off at times from those and kept his balance and fought for some nice extra yards and also his burst through the gap, not to the gap, was outstanding too. You obviously want to patiently read the offense and 
and he did that and then boom accelerate through the gap and he did a phenomenal job at that too and we're looking at the game tape like I said the first thing that I mentioned vision really popped off and one good example would be against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers they tried a wide zone play and there he just showed his patience to the line he works the cutback lane perfectly stays behind the offensive guard finds the opening showing some elusiveness in that situation too and then running for a big chunk play right there breaking some tackles down the field as well just like I said showing his vision seeing cutback lanes fast and reacting to those another beautiful example against the Atlanta Falcons as well once again a wide zone play a play that the Bears run a lot as well so perfect scheme fit in that regard already and the initial gap closes really fast and just the recognition of his is phenomenal on this play too adjusts to it quickly then bursts through the gap and then just gets another huge gain on this play another really good example against the Denver Broncos this time this time not a wide zone but an inside zone play where once again the gap closes fast he bounces to the outside with a great jump cut there too and then recognizes a cutback lane once again as soon as he sees the tackling cornerback so he cuts back inside again uh, which is a phenomenal job for some extra yards there too so two cutbacks within one play where he had to react fast and really show some good footwork and he definitely did on that play and then one more example for his vision against the New Orleans Saints where they ran a split zone with the tight end blocking the backside end and the initial gap once again closes pretty fast he breaks it to the outside for a big gain on this one too and then just once again love him adjusting in a hurry with so very clean footwork and patience on that play which is just absolutely outstanding and that's just not four plays that I nitpicked here right it's constantly working the backside working the cutbacks looking through the line letting it develop and then bursting through it which was an absolute phenomenal chop on mostly all of his runs that he had in 2022 also another big part of his game already mentioned it his burst through the gap one play against the Detroit Lions where they made a nickel blitz right and he shoots through the gap immediately and uh, Deontay Foreman just makes that guy miss within a second finds the opening after after that too and they could just see his burst and acceleration through the gap shifting gears right having the first gear to the gap and then the second gear through the gap which was absolutely phenomenal another one once again against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on an inside zone to the left and he realizes there's no one on the right side and there's only maybe a corner or a safe that could tackle him so he takes that matchup every day of the week and then just bounces it to the outside great acceleration and burst to break free and makes another massive gain on that run and then another beautiful example against the Denver Broncos where the offensive line by the Panthers did a phenomenal job on this play but mostly really made some really got blocks in the run game overall as well but there you see it once again just burst through the gap bounces off a tackler with some good balance so there's the balance a bit in there as well but just once again shooting through the gap being fast and then accelerating into the second level is absolutely phenomenal and then lastly one other example for his burst against the Detroit Lions once again where he showed some patience to the gap letting the blocks develop and then boom breaks through gets moving for some extra yards phenomenal job on that play as well and I think overall his burst through the gap like I said is very impressive for his game and then the thing that probably surprised me the most watching his tape because I was really going into thinking watching a total bruising back that just breaks tackles but it is actually his elusiveness and footwork and there's several great examples of him just reacting to situations fast and making people miss one beautiful one against the Atlanta Falcons which is an absolute phenomenal play I love this one inside zone run the defensive lineman gets through the gap immediately into the backfield and Foreman just beautifully jump cuts to evade him then smoothly moves on to the next tackling linebacker that wants to tackle him moves around him in a very nice fashion and then just finds the gap and falls forward for some other extra yards that was a very impressive play overall then another one against the Denver Broncos where he just once again shows again the patience on the inside zone run clean footwork to work the gaps and then 
ultimately bounces outside, makes a guy miss with a quick juke, and then gets another extra yards and that play. And I think it's just so impressive how smooth he moves for his size and weight, right? And still is able to make some people miss. Also, another really good example against the Seattle Seahawks, where it was probably an inside zone play, but Uchenna Wosu, very good edge rusher for them, kills that play within a quick couple of seconds with a great get off. And then Deontay Foreman just perfectly times it with a jump cut and then just jump cuts past him, which is so tough. And then there's an incoming corner once again, and he just cuts past him with a quick little one cut as well, which looked so sick uh, and just got pa past that corner within a second as well. And then turned a minus two yard play into a positive yards play, probably four to five yards, which was such a crazy play to look at. And just his ability to adjust to certain situations within a split second with his footwork just being so fast and elusive at times is absolutely impressive. Also, looking at his tape, his strength obviously popped off as well. Like I said, it went into the uh, game tape with the expectation that he is a bruising back, and he definitely showed that as well. One play against the Detroit Lions, where he, first of all, uh, has crazy vision, finding a very tiny gap, right? That's a sick play nonetheless, and then drops his shoulder and just constant leg drive on this one, gaining some extra yards and just showing the fight in his game. Then another one against the New Orleans Saints where we had a great backside pursuit by Marshawn Lattimore on the inside zone. Came into the backfield so quickly, but Deontay Foreman showing some balance and strength right there against the corner and then breaks the tackle and then lowers the shoulder and falls forward in the second level as well. Just once again showing his core strength and ability to lower his shoulder and fight for extra yards. And once again just evading a very good corner that shot into the backfield. And then also one beautiful example in 2021 where he played on the Tennessee Titans against the Houston Texans where he bounces it to the outside to run immediately and then Derrick Henry like stiff arms the corner to the ground just vicious stiff arm boom puts him into the ground and just right there also displaying his strength and his play side definitely reminds me a bit of Derrick Henry obviously not as talented but still you see it in his game at times where you just think like damn he really moves like him and especially in that Titans uniform it just looks crazy also having dreads and long hair right but showed some strength right there against the Texans as well which was beautiful and then also one more big time ability for him which excites me a lot with him now being the Bears is his ability in the red zone. One beautiful goal line example against the Atlanta Falcons where he just showed the strength and leg drive to fight his way for a touchdown where he was met basically not in the backfield but pretty early in that rush uh, by the defensive lineman and then he was pretty high with the pet level so not perfect pat level on that play but he still showed his fight and strength in his core just constant leg drive and drove into the end zone which was a beautiful touchdown as well that's what we need right we need that goal line back that can finally finish off the plays as well and then also another beautiful example against the Detroit Lions which was such a sick play where he just evaded multiple tacklers and just navigated through so much traffic so smoothly and clean. It's an absolute sick touchdown. Just gets in there basically untouched, even though there are multiple guys that could potentially tackle him, but he just moves so smooth to the line of scrimmage and to the goal line. It was such an impressive play overall as well. So for him overall as a runner, I think he's a really good, patient runner with great vision, strength, and elusiveness as well. Plus, he's just an absolute bell cow back that you can give 20 to maybe even 30 carries a game. They did that at times with the Panthers. Just really run down the clock with him. He will do that for you at the goal line. He will do it and finish the plays off for you as well. But also, uh, just his ability to burst through gaps, read gaps, and also being shifty with it is absolutely phenomenal. And with that being said, we want to move on to the second category that I want to talk about today, which is his ability in the passing game and him as a blocker.
And I think there's no one out in this world that would say as soon as they think of Deontay Foreman, they would mention his receiving ability. And I think that's totally fair because he was just simply not used that way a lot, especially not on the Carolina Panthers. I mean, when we look at his stats with the Panthers, he only had nine targets for the whole season last year, had five receptions and 26 yards. So today we'll have some plays of his playing time with the Tennessee Titans, where he had basically his best receiving season of his entire career with 123 yards and nine catches overall but I think he's still kind of underrated and just doesn't get a lot of chances as a receiving back but first of all when we look at his screen game overall one perfect example against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers still with the Panthers so 2022 where he beautifully fakes not the blocking gets out O-line gets in front of him as a blocker and just really good hands on that play and concentration obviously it's an easy catch right but still you'll have to take it with Deontay Foreman because he just didn't get a lot of looks in the passing game and then just carries a couple of tacklers for some extra yard down the field as well which was super impressive and then another beautiful screenplay with the Tennessee Titans this time against the New Orleans Saints where it was once again a classic running back screen fake a bubble screen right there, the Titans to A.J. Brown, and then ran it to the opposite side, the running back screen, and showed some burst on that play as well. After catching the football, just cleanly catches it, looks it in, and then gets moving away from the defense for a really good gain on that play as well. So obviously, he's not a huge threat in the passing game, but you can use him, especially on screens. You want to give the guy the ball because he will make some things happen after the catch. And then he also went on to some routes as well. Some fun plays there uh, with the Tennessee Titans against the Texans. He ran a shoot route into the flats on play action. He just catches it turns it up fields and actually hurdles a guy for almost a touchdown he didn't completely get into the end zone but that was also a very fun play to just show his athleticism because he is an athletic freak uh, just jumped over a guy there but also made a good catch right there into the flats obviously uncovered though another one against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2022 where he shoots into the flats once again makes a good catch breaks the tackle for some extra yards up the field as well like it's simple routes white flat routes, bubble routes, some screens in there as well, but I think he does an okay job there and he could be used in that scenario, just obviously not as often also with the Bears. And then also other very interesting example against the New Orleans Saints, still with the Tennessee Titans here, where he just actually lined up in the slot, not in the backfield, which I didn't see him do a lot, I think just a couple of times. They lined up in empty formation and he ran actually a shallow cross. Now, was he uncovered again? Yes, he was, but he actually ran a shallow, which is kind of impressive and just catches it in stride turns it upfield immediately and runs for a first down now it's nothing outstanding with him in the passing game obviously but he did some fun stuff especially with the Tennessee Titans they used him more as a passing threat than the Carolina Panthers for sure and then also just lastly for his blocking real quick honestly I didn't see him block a lot because he was mostly taken out of passing downs with the Carolina Panthers they had Chubba Hubbard for that so they took him out almost completely and if he was in it was mostly just a hard play action sell where he went on to the route to the opposite side of the field so if it was a bootleg to the right he was going to the left so he was not even a receiving threat for them in that regard it was just a decoy to confuse the defense but there was one play against the Seattle Seahawks which I was really impressed with because it was a play action rollout to the right and Bruce Irvin the edge for the Seahawks beat Ika McQuanu in a hurry on that play and just in incredible job right there by Deontay Foreman he recognized that and instead of selling the handoff helped his quarterback and just redirected Bruce Irving within a hurry just came in and helped blocking his offensive tackle right there and just held the play alive for that it was an incompletion but there was a phenomenal job made by Deontay Foreman that should definitely be recognized on that play at least so I think he's a pretty solid blocker but I just didn't see it a lot by him because like I said Panthers subbed him out constantly on passing downs 
So for an overall quick conclusion, I think Deontay Foreman fits perfectly into the wide zone scheme of the Chicago Bears. He ran it a lot with the Panthers. He ran it successfully for the Panthers, and he will definitely 100% fit in perfectly with the Chicago Bears offense, being just that second uh, complementary back to Khalil Herbert. Now, will he get the majority of the carries? It could definitely be the case uh, if he's like the Thunder that just carries the load and just like weakens or just tires out the opposing defense and then Khalil Herbert gets in and gets a big chunk but whatever it is I think that one-two punch with Herbert and Foreman plus that third guy and Travis Homer is a really good running back core for 2023 already and I can't wait and see what those three guys are able to achieve and with that being said that's the end of the episode guys I hope you've enjoyed it definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the signing of Deontay Foreman like and subscribe if you like the video check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well and as always, guys, bear down.